Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a template that you can use to get started writing your bot. This template was written by another dev, Alex. Let's jump right in and take a look. This template will probably be made available for you to use on the website. So once you get the hang of this, you can download it and get started. So again, all robots, whether they be headquarters or soldiers or towers, they all run this run method located in the robot player class. That means for different types of robots to behave differently, there needs to be a type check somewhere. So in other words, if you want HQs and beavers to behave differently, you need to check whether the robot controller has the type HQ or whether it has the type beaver. Depending on which type the robot has, it looks like myself will be set equal to a new class. And depending on which class is created here, the robot will behave differently. I'll take a closer look at this later. Alex has also provided several helpful methods for us to use, which we'll be using later when we write our first bot. Let's take a quick look at each of them. Get directions toward takes in a map location, and what it looks like it does is it returns a list of directions that you can use to navigate towards this destination. So for instance, if your destination is to the north, this will return north, northwest, northeast, west, and east. So the five directions that vaguely help you get toward the location you want to go. If you're trying to move to a location, dest, then get moveder looks like it will return the direction in which you should move to get there. Get spawn direction and get build direction return if you're trying to spawn a robot, you can use get spawn direction to figure out a direction that you're allowed to spawn it in. Similarly, for get build direction, if you want to build a robot, you can call this and it will return a direction that you're allowed to build it in. Get allies returns all the allies, every robot that's allied with you. Get enemies in attacking range does pretty much what it sounds like. It returns a list of all the enemy robots that are in your attack range. Attack least health enemy takes a list of enemies, selects the one with least health, and then tells your robot to attack it. Okay, looks like that's the end of the methods that Alex has written for us. So now let's take a look at each of the classes. Remember up here that depending on the type of the robot that we have, it will create a, an instance of the class HQ, or the class Beaver, or the class Barracks, etc. So now let's take a look at what each of the classes does. Oh, I forgot to mention that another part of this run method is myself will call its method go. And if we look at the method go down here, go will call beginning of turn, execute, and end of turn. Alex has already provided a bit of code in beginning of turn to locate the location of their headquarters. But execute is a method that is different for each class. So if I change this method, the HQ will call execute, but no other type of robot will. Similarly, the beaver will call execute and run the code located here, but no other type of robot will. So this makes our life very simple because if we want different types of robots to behave differently, we just have to write different code in each execute statement, depending on which class we want to execute the code. 
So for instance, if I wanted every beaver to print out the number 5, I could put this code here. And now the HQ wouldn't print out 5, but every beaver would. Hopefully this helps you get started writing your code. It's a very, very clean way to organize it, and it should help you get a bot up and running as quickly as possible.